It's one of the, the things that really effective speakers do is they always Hey everyone, what's up? Devon Brown here, and in this video, I'm gonna share with you five tips to becoming a more effective speaker. Now, effective is the key word there. So, what does it mean to be a more effective speaker? Well, the word effective means successful in producing a desired or intended result. In other words, successful in producing the outcome you want. So what this means for you as a speaker is that it's one thing to be able to get on stage and just say a bunch of words to the audience. It's another thing to actually be able to produce the desired outcome or result that you want, right? It's a completely different thing to be able to stand on stage and connect with them and impact them and get them to change their lives because of the words that you've said. So how do we become more effective in our speaking, that's what we're gonna talk about today, and I'm gonna give you five ways to make it happen, so let's jump into it. Okay, tip one for becoming a more effective speaker. Speak with passion. Passion can be felt. Whether you're on stage in person, live at an event, or uh, whether you're on video, uh, like social media or YouTube or something, either way, Passion can be felt. Passion can be felt through the screen and passion can be felt in person. When you're speaking passionately from the heart, that is inspiring to other people. That touches other people. When you speak with passion, that excites other people. People can feel your passion. So my suggestion to you is to speak with passion in everything you do. And when you do that, you will be more effective at getting your message across. Now, one of the ways that I love to know that I'm speaking with passion is I like to feel the impact of the words that I'm going to say first. And once I felt their impact, then I let those words come out of my mouth. I hope that makes sense. Try it, try it on, see if it works for you. And while you're doing that, let's move on to tip number two for being a more effective speaker. And that is to practice the art of storytelling. Now, uh, I probably don't need to tell you storytelling is old school, right? Storytelling goes way back. It's, 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 part, of, it's part of human beings doing human being stuff. Right? That's what we do, is we, we tell stories. When you were young and you were getting tucked into bed, what happened? Open a book, once upon a time. You've watched a movie. All a movie is, is a story. Story is hardwired into us. And so if you want to be effective at communicating to your audience, one of the best ways to do it is with a story. Now, one of the reasons I love story so much is that story takes the audience on a journey. And when they're on that journey with you or with the protagonist or who, with, which, with uh, whoever the character is in the story, they uncover things. They, uncovers re they uncover realities and lessons and tools and tips and tactics and all that other stuff. They uncover stuff at the same time the character in the story uncovers stuff. So it's, it's kind of like a journey. It's, it's an adventure. And it's such a great way to communicate ideas as opposed to just saying, here's a fact. Instead, you say, let me tell you a story. And then, and, the, and then embedded in that story is a lesson you want them to learn and they can uncover that with you. It's one of the, the things that really effective speakers do is they always use story. All right, so tip number three for becoming a more effective speaker is to be succinct. One of the things that, in real talk, one of the things that I struggle with, because I love hearing myself, uh, but one of the things I struggle with is being super succinct. The, there's a general rule of thumb with regard to uh, writing and with regard to speaking and with regard to teaching. It's that if you can communicate an idea in 100 words, then don't use 200 if that makes sense, right? The more succinct you can be, um, the more clear you, and concise your messages and the more effective you will be at communicating what it is that you're trying to communicate. You know who does a great job of uh, being succinct in their messaging? Go watch TED Talks. TED Talks are all relatively short, so they have to be succinct and they have to get straight to the point with regard to their message. So my suggestion is that you Google some TED Talks and with regard to learning how to be succinct, Go watch those. 
All right? All right, uh, and tip number four for being a more effective speaker is to engage the audience and connect on an individual basis. One of the one of the sayings that I absolutely love and one of the things that I want you to remember when you're talking to people, I actually learned this back when I was a, uh, a karate instructor or a taekwondo instructor, excuse me if I'm being more specific. Um, my teacher, my instructor came up to me and, and, and what he says was, Devon, you're, you're, you're not talking to a class, you're talking to a group of many one persons. And, and what he was trying to get me to understand, see I just used story there. Um, what he was trying to get me to understand is that an audience or a crowd, or in this instance, the class, is not some amorphous blob, right? That I am just speaking to a blob. I am speaking to individuals who just happen to be sitting amongst other individuals. And so if you wanna be effective, you have to be able to connect to the individual. One of my favorite sayings is, to connect with many, connect with one. And if I want to effectively communicate a message, one of the things that you can do is to connect with one person in the audience, one person in the crowd, right? And when you do that, believe it or not, you're not just being effective in communicating with them. Everybody else around it can see and feel that message and that connection and that communication. So uh, tip number four, engage the audience and connect on an individual basis. All right, and tip number five for being an effective speaker is to practice saying things in different ways. Some way, some, sometimes the, the way that it makes the most sense for you to say something is not the way that makes the most sense for your audience receiving it. So one of the things that I love to do is when I'm on stage, I'll say something and then I'll judge the audience's response. And then when I'm on stage again, I'll say it a slightly different way. And then I'll judge the audience's response. And then I'll just go with whatever way the audience receives it better. Because the, arguably the most important part of communication is what and how your message is received, right? It's not always what you say or what you intend, it's what's received. So. The great thing you can do, or a great thing you can do, is practice saying stuff different ways. And, and by the way, different ways includes uh, words. Uh, you can practice saying it with pictures. You can practice saying it with charts. You can practice saying it with stories. You can practice saying stuff different ways and, and, and use what's most effective for the audience. So there you have it, five ways for you to become a more effective speaker. Quick recap, they are number one, be passionate, speak with passion. Number two, practice the art of storytelling. Number three, be succinct. Number four, to connect with many, connect with one. Connect on an individual basis when you've got an audience. And, and tip number five, practice saying stuff in different ways. I hope these tips have helped you. If even just one of them helps you become a more effective speaker and helps you more effectively get your message across then, Double high five. My name is Devon Brown. If you like this video, feel free to comment on it, share it, tell your friends about it, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Hey, Devon here. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and connect with me on social media, and if you enjoyed this content, be sure to share it with your friends.